Today, a fascinating discussion about a controversial diet that has everybody asking, how can I get on it? Imagine losing a pound a day, but never feeling hungry. It's called the HCG diet. You take a hormone called HCG while on a diet that's very low in calories. Now, it sounds too good to be true, but you're going to meet some people, including doctors, who've tried it and say it has changed their lives. Now, all these people over here say they have lost an amazing amount of weight on it, about 800 pounds in total. And when I first heard about it, I was intrigued. But I had a lot of questions. Does it really work? Is it safe? Is it a miracle or is it hype? It's the hottest diet sweeping the country. And if you believe all the hype, it's the long awaited miracle cure for weight loss. Imagine losing 40 pounds in just 40 days. An astonishing one pound per day. That's what the ads promise for the HCG diet. It's controversial, and thousands of people swear by it. The HCG diet actually dates back to the 1950s, when Dr. A.T.W. Simeons claimed that human chorionic gonadotropin, a hormone produced during pregnancy to ensure a fetus gets necessary nutrients, could also promote weight loss. How? According to Simeons, by simultaneously suppressing your appetite while helping your body burn fat. Users say that helps them with the most radical part of the diet, which limits you to just 500 calories a day. Far below the 1,200 calories nutritionists and doctors, including me, recommend is safe. It's easy to buy products claiming to contain HCG, over-the-counter and online, though many have little or no trace of the hormone. The most concentrated doses must be prescribed by your doctor. So the question remains, is HCG the world's ultimate recipe for weight loss? Today we're going to meet people who love this diet and some people who hate it. You're going to be surprised to see who lines up where. Let's start with the basic question. What is HCG? Well, if you've had a baby, then you've had HCG in your body. When you get a pregnancy test, like this one, it actually measures the HCG in your urine. The placenta makes HCG, which stimulates other hormones to keep a blood supply to the fetus. But here's the deal. After 50 years of research, there is still no proven medical reason why HCG would keep you from getting hungry even though people on a diet say that it does. Now, the HCG drug can be found in two forms. It can come in a shot form like this. We actually inject it into yourself. Or you can take drops like this that you actually put under your tongue. Now, the other part of this diet is pretty extreme. You eat only 500 calories a day. Now, of course, you'll lose weight if this is all you're eating. But it's something that I want to go over with you. Dr. Sherry Emma, who runs a weight loss clinic in New Jersey, where she prescribes this diet using HCG injections, is joining us. Dr. Emma, please join us. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Just confirm with me that I got this right. This is a typical diet that someone might eat. It's a total of 500 calories. So you start breakfast with a coffee, then a snack of fruit, then a little bit of protein and a lettuce for lunch, mm -hmm. maybe a Melba toast or two for a snack in between lunch and dinner. Dinner again, a small amount of protein with a, a vegetable, mm -hmm. and then a snack of food at the dinner. Pretty representative? Pretty representative. We, we have a little bit of variability. They can have an orange or a bowl of berries. So we have substitutions, and I often tell them if they have a little more lettuce than that, it's okay. But that's pretty <laughs> so much giving it in a nutshell. Right. So I guess <laughs> I have a lot of difficulty with this. And okay. even if I was a little smaller than I am, I probably would still struggle. But I guess that's really the key here. That the argument at the core of whether the HCG diet works or not is whether that hormone actually suppresses the ravenous hunger you have if you're only eating 500 calories a day. Right. So let me ask you the first obvious question. Why be so dramatic? Why not allow 1,000 calories or 1,200? That still is enough to lose weight. Well, what we're seeing today with obesity, it's becoming an epidemic. And the sooner we can get people to their goals where they are healthy, the better off they are. Explain why that's possible. How, how can you live on 500 calories a day? You're actually not living off of just this food. What the concept is and why it works so well is you're living off of this food that you're consuming, plus the additional body fat needed for the energy you're not consuming. So let me underline that if I can. So you're saying that the reason that HCG is effective is because you can get by with 500 calories because you're burning fat stores, of right. which most of us have tens of thousands of calories just on our hips alone. That's right. Now, HCG is an FDA-approved drug, but right. it's used primarily for fertility. 
not for weight loss. All right. So one thing you can learn from this diet for sure is portion control shock therapy, so to speak, right? Because you really are getting shocked in there. <laughs> now, we asked some of Dr. Emma's patients to come here. I've got to say, I am fascinated by this. Because anytime you have scientific dogma, studies showing nothing, but can't prove it, and yet you have real human beings saying, I tried it and it works, I get curious. So we asked some of Dr. Emma's patients to join us who say they have had success on the diet. We're going to talk to some folks who aren't so happy with it either. So we 